dumps on it. You know, it's all about letting letting the work oh, yeah. basically working smarter, not harder. We've all heard that. Right? So let's just start there. I'm just gonna start there. Build it up. It's kind of in the middle of the tire. <laughs> The key is to get that dirt into the sidewalls first and foremost. So I would say ignore the middle. Don't even think about putting dirt in the middle and thinking that it's done because it's in the middle. Because it's gonna go away, all right? You have to push it to the sidewalls. And already, I mean, it's like I didn't even put dirt in it. Right. So keep adding that dirt. Trying to be as clean as possible here. Yeah. And here's where all, right, all that dirt is sitting there. Open the sidewalls up just with your hands and just still push all that dirt into the sidewalls, first and foremost. Now, Mike is. Mike in there has mentioned time and time again that these houses literally eat garbage. And I, when I got into doing this, when I would lay out my row of tires and I'd get to about this point right here, I would take a walk and just see what trash I could pick up from the neighborhood <laughs> and then throw it in here and then add more dirt. And then all of a sudden that trash is history. You don't even know where that trash is. Which is exactly what they do anyways. It's what a landfill is. We're just putting this landfill in our house. Um, so, yep, keep putting that dirt into the sidewalk. And actually, if you guys want to come up, you know, just right now before I keep filling it, uh, you'll see that it's literally going, it's going wet. So I got to a point where these sidewalls are being a lot more rigid on me. All right, it's not as easy for me to just push it in. I pretty much have compressed it as much as possible as I can with my hands. Now here's the great thing about caveman funny tools. Ugh. Sledgehammer. My thing is I'm gonna come over here and grab this guy right here. This creates, what do you think this does, guys? Leverage. Uh, leverage, yes. So we got, we've got two great inventions. We've got the wheel, we've got leverage, and then Mike's talking about not even having to create fire in this world anymore, but uh -huh. I like fire. Um, <laughs> energy conservation. Put this pick or, or matic in, lift up the sidewall, and here's a trick called the picking kick. Now, I'm wearing boots. Actually, I love these boots. These boots uh, have like that nice rubber uh, uh, whatever on it. And I can literally open the sidewall up and kick dirt in. See, I always go a little bit step further and I, use, I like to use my heel. It's kind of a good workout. Because I can open that sidewall up and just kick that dirt in. And just kind of go around the whole goal is to get as even fill as possible, just so that there's no real void anywhere. Kind of going around, pushing that dirt in, but add more dirt. When I do this, I just kind of <laughs> step it in. The weight of myself, it compresses, and I, you know, I might be negating what I said to you at first. Don't worry about compressing the middle. But I don't like to have a lot spill out, and I know that I'm, I mean, I'm not that heavy. Um, but I want it to get down there so that I can bring up that sidewall again, and it's a lot easier for me to just kick that dirt right into the sidewalk. And here's what I found out too, and you know, it's, 
not like I found out, I just realized that there's a reason for doing things, is uh, especially here in the city. You can walk around the city and probably find chunks of just broken up brick and pieces of road and everything like that. But really all a brick is, is this, just what we know as a brick. So put it in there. Let that be space all right, in your tire that is already a compacted something. You know, and it's gonna it's gonna keep that sidewall open. Alright? The key is to keep that sidewall as open as possible so that you can really stuff that sidewall <coughs> dirty. Now if you look at this already, this sidewall, the whole point is to get the tire to swell up like a balloon. Alright? Um, and usually a good swell I think is about two inches. You know, it's it's really it's really a matter of always testing the sidewall to see how hard the sidewall is. Because when you get into doing this, you might have a tire that's right next to this one that might be just a little bit different in size, or it might be sitting on the ground that's just a little bit out of level. So it's a matter of pounding, really. Because these sidewalls, I've seen them like flare up to like, you know, this. And it really just takes a lot of pounding. So that's actually what's nice about pounding tires is that you can micro adjust it very easily. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of continue lifting this up. And again, right now I'm working, I'm working it by myself. This is time where like someone else could be just grabbing dirt and filling in all the tires around the site and pushing it with their hands. And here I am, I come around, I do the whole pick and kick along with everything else. And again, energy conservation, because once you get that sledge in your hand, taking your hat off, taking your shirt off, it's hot. Well, it gets hot. Yeah. So I'm going to keep doing this. Now, usually when I do this, I know I'm, it's workout time for me. I usually put my iPod on and I get in the zone and I just, I just get into it like I'm working out, like it's an exercise, you know? Um, so I've kind of gone full loop on this tire now. And even now, I can take my hand and I can even feel that there is dirt filling up in that sidewall. So now is when, now is when I'm going to take the sledge. All right. And sledges come usually in like eight or 10 pound sledges. I usually like to use a 10 pound sledge because when you work this sledge, it's really all about the momentum of it anyway. So I might as well, if I know the technique right, I might as well have more weight at the end of this to make a heavier ram, basically. Um, when there's, when you've kind of got to a point where you fill the dirt up in the, in the sidewalls of the tires and it starts swelling up, you'll see on the videos um, that Mike was showing, you've got this face and you've got this face. What do you think is going to do more damage? What, what do you think is going to do? A lighter one, right? It's not, it's, you know, I'm asking rhetorical questions. Um, so I use this, this long face at first, and I just go around, and I just beat that dirt into the side. And I just kind of, kind of just work it all the way around. There's also, you know, I do this sometimes, and just push it in. And again, it's all about the sidewalls, all right? If the middle gets tamped before the sidewalls, you're really not doing any good. The sidewalls is what matters. Can I ask, is it harder once the wall is kind of built up? You can really only stand on like one side or another. You can't really go around it like that. You just do just your technique once you're higher up on the wall. Yeah. So say there's another tire right here. 